Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this series, I document my monthly weight loss recap showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into August weight loss recap. All right, so this morning I am having my celery juice like normal. I am also having oatmeal. I'm back on the oatmeal train um, since I did the parfaits for like a couple weeks. I try to switch it up um, every couple weeks with my breakfast. I know this does not look appetizing, but something new that I added to my oatmeal once it was done was this goat milk kefir um, plain unsweetened uh, stuff. <laughs> it's basically like a thicker version slightly like more fizzy um and you can drink it as well um compared to yogurt so yeah it just has like a lot more active cultures um i saw that it has like a lot of stuff that you would get in like pro prebiotics um that you would take in like pill form and i prefer instead of having to like take pills for like, you know, things that my body I feel are missing. I'd rather consume them through food. And so this is one way that I'm gonna try it. I've never tasted this before, um, but I just added it and then mixed it in with my oatmeal this morning. But, and don't worry, I didn't add any extra honey to my oatmeal. I only added like maybe about like seven little dried wild blueberries because these are really sweet actually and then i added like um around the same amount of these goji berries as well and there um along with like my normal stuff like you know chia seeds and coconut flakes um and uh dried sunflower seeds and stuff like that so yeah, I added that normal stuff. I am still on the train of like not trying to add a lot of sweets because I am watching my sugar levels just because I want to stay as healthy as possible and live a long, healthy life. So catching it early and yeah. So I mean, with like the added, like the, yeah, catching it early and yeah. It is dinner time. I have a turkey burger with some stir fry in there and some hash browns. This is today's lunch. Have stir fry with quinoa burger mixed in and an egg, fried egg on top. And I'm having it with some pomegranate juice. You can see here. Hello, beautiful people. So today is the 9th yeah today's the 9th of august and this past weekend because my birthday is coming up this coming week i celebrated with some friends but also treated myself because i just didn't feel like cooking so i had chick-fil-a i had like three gourmet cookies from crumble i had pb and j's ramen trying to think of what else I had lots of chips like a big bag of well I didn't have it all by myself in terms of the kettle sea salt and vinegar chips um I I shared those with friends but yeah I just kind of celebrated and I know I gained weight so I'm just kind of like you know what it's fine also earlier this week I had chipotle but I had it in like a salad form but obviously like with the portions, it was a lot bigger. And I also had mad greens, I had a wrap and yeah, it's just like things that like portion wise, it was just a lot more. So I had more takeout this past week and then this weekend as well. And then just like had a few more sweets, but I'm done with the sweets because you guys know 
I am doing my best to watch my sugar levels. Although I have taken my blood sugar, um, like little finger thing, finger prick thing, and my blood sugar levels are pretty normal. They're good. But at the same time, like I really don't want them to go up. So I have to like maintain having like not a lot of sweets. So th this was a lot of sweets in terms of like the three gourmet cookies and the PB and J's because jam is, you know, sweet, like it has sugar in it. And I bought the one that has less sugar than the rest, but still like it is still pretty sweet. And yeah, so this coming week, I think the only unhealthy thing that I'm thinking of eating which is really not that unhealthy as sushi on my actual birthday. And then yeah, the rest of this week just eating as clean as possible and continuing that going forward. Right now, I am using a lacrosse ball along with my foam roller to just like really get out the knots on my body. I'm realizing that I need to do this literally every single day. Like I have to do it every day. I have not been the greatest about it, but I'm going to be better about trying to aim for every day using my lacrosse ball and um, using my foam roller as well as like stretching every single day. So yeah, I'm gonna continue watching The Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix because the fourth season came out. And I'm gonna continue using this lacrosse ball as well as the foam roller and being in a lot of pain so that um, for a temporary amount of time so that it can relieve a lot of stress in my body and stretch so i will check in with you guys maybe tomorrow but yeah for lunch i am having a salad of sorts i have like a bunch of kale some goat cheese a fried egg and a <laughs> mashed quinoa burger all in one and i'm also going to have a little bit of hot cheetos and as you can see i already finished um a little thing of vegan cheesecake that you can get at trader joe's which is amazing <laughs> went and got some ice cream never really get a waffle cone but first time for everything I guess mm. having a salad for lunch with two fried eggs and a quinoa burger mashed in and some goat cheese as well as some water I am having, for lunch, I'm having stir-fried vegetables with my quinoa burger, and then I have mayo mixed with some paprika and a little bit of olive oil. I wanna try it with lemon juice, because I heard that's also pretty good as like a little, you know, condiment sauce, but yeah, that is, is what I'm having for lunch today. Hi guys, <laughs> um, good afternoon. Yesterday was my cheat meal, I forgot to document, but I had sushi along with a gourmet cookie from Crumble Cookies. They're a business that you can find all across the nation and they deliver or you can pick up. Um, you can do curbside pickup and stuff like that. But the cookie that I had yesterday was a dark chocolate cookie with caramel, and Rice Krispies on top of the dark chocolate cookie and it was so good. So that was my cheat meal yesterday. I'm currently making some vegetables along with my quinoa burger and I'm having it with pomegranate juice as my lunch. And I'm most likely gonna have the same thing again for dinner. So yeah, that was my cheat meal yesterday. I'm trying to keep it to like once a week but also have it something that is like something that I really enjoy so yeah and sushi is like healthy it's not like an unhealthy thing so anyways I'm gonna go and eat my lunch
much. Good morning. So it's Saturday and I weigh 212. But what's interesting is that a couple weeks ago, I weighed 209 and I could not even fit into these jeans. But today, weighing more than I did a couple weeks ago, I fit into these jeans. So, I lost some inches and gained gains somewhere. I don't really get it, but literally I could not even like button these up a couple weeks ago. And I weighed a lot less than I do now. So I'm very confused. That's my weight check-in. I weighed 212. So yeah. So I am ending the month at 211. I mean, it was my birthday month. That's an excuse, but it was, and I enjoyed myself over the birthday week and ate really good. So. I'm not upset or mad at it, but yeah, 211. So I do have some changes coming up, which I will talk about in the next little clip here, but September is like going forward for the rest of this year. It's gonna be different in how I'm documenting things. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be better. I already started off today with a Lily Sabri workout so and that was intense and I'm just gonna keep on stay on this path so I have a different mindset we're gonna get it so oh gosh um because I did end up getting up to 214 pounds this month I did not share that but I did get up to 214 pounds so I got back down because I was just like ooh girl, I do not want to be 235 pounds or 233 pounds like I was before. Like that is just not what I want. That is not where I want to be. I want to go down. So I got back down to 211 and the goal is to just not gain weight. It is either, it is only to just go down. That is the only option I have. That's the only option that I want for myself. So so, I ended the month at 211 pounds, gained some weight, and I feel like I have a solution going forward to kind of help me get back down on the trajectory that I want to be on instead of gaining weight. I know that we're in a pandemic, I know that we are in trying times, and I should not be as hard on myself, but truth is, like, I started this weight loss journey to lose weight. That is the point of this weight loss journey. So this is going to be my last monthly recap ever. It's the last one. But good news going forward, I am making them weekly. So they're no longer gonna be monthly because this unfortunately is my last one yet. They're gonna go to weekly vlogs. So you guys are gonna see me documenting every single thing that I eat. There might be a couple occasions where I might forget, say I go out, um, and pick up some a snack on the way at the grocery store and forget to document it, I will tell you about what I eat um, in that case, and I will document 
all the workouts that I'm doing every single day in a weekly format. So I'm going to be documenting Monday through Saturday with Saturdays showing you the weight that I am at the end of the week. Sundays I will be taking off. I won't show Sunday just so that I have a break, which I think will be really, really good for me. I was really racking my brain around what I should do going forward. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I want to do weekly ones. I felt for a long time that weekly ones would be a really good next step instead of doing a monthly recap. Also with monthly recaps, like it's a bigger edit. I have to do like a huge file dump. And with weekly ones, it is a better guarantee that you get more videos from me on a consistent basis because I do want to be consistent and I wasn't being consistent, especially during this time. Also, um, going forward with like my diet as well, I'm no longer going to try to do this keto-like diet. It worked for a while and it was a good mindset to have, but I think going forward, I just need to have a better relationship with food because I was constricting myself so much that... I would break and then go off the deep end and eat four pints of ice cream in a weekend, which is not healthy and not good. And as you guys know, I'm trying to watch my sugar and be better about that. And yeah, like I am not perfect. I will probably have candy and foods that are not healthy, but at the same time, I can't over restrict myself because when I restrict myself to that point, it gets to an extreme point where it's not healthy for me in the long run. Because this, at the end of the day, is a fitness journey and I am at the portion where I want to lose weight. I want to lose as much fat as possible so that once I lose the fat, I can start bulking up a little bit more and like leaning out, bulking up, building that muscle, getting the physique and the you know fitness goals that I want for myself which is to be able to do pull-ups and push-ups and be able to do a single you know leg squat there's so many things that I want to do running is not included in one of them but yeah there's just a lot that I want to do going forward physically and I also have physique goals aesthetic goals that I want to achieve as well so I feel like I just need to be more honest and I feel like that is going to help me be held more accountable to what it is that I'm putting in my body and what it is that I am putting my body through in terms of workouts. So yeah, going forward, we're no longer doing the monthly recaps. I feel like this is a good thing to kind of help evolve and change because I'm learning. I'm growing from my past mistakes, failures, as I like to call them, learning opportunities, and grow and push myself beyond that and be the best version of myself and understanding that, you know, there's no such thing as good and bad food. It's just food. Some are healthier than others and some are unhealthier than others. But at the same time, I don't want to get to the point where I am just having an unhealthy relationship with food. I want to be able to eat the foods and not feel bad about them and not restrict myself to the point where I am just out of control and it causes me to fail. I don't want that. I want to have a healthy relationship with food. I want to have a healthy relationship with my body. And so by doing that, I just want to be more honest and show the whole truth of what this weight loss journey really looks like for myself. So going forward, that is what I'm going to be showing you. Every single thing that I'm eating, all the workouts that I'm doing, whether I'm stretching, foam rolling, I am doing an ab workout, a butt workout, an arm workout, whatever it is, I am going to show you guys that. As long as the food, like the things that I'm drinking, whether that's kombucha or wine, um, not that I drink a lot of alcohol, but sometimes I do consume it and I do want to be honest about what that is. So Monday through Saturday, I will be documenting the whole entire process and sharing the weight updates on Saturdays throughout the vlog. So these these upcoming weeks. So I just wanted to share that going forward and let you guys know that, that that is what is going on. This is the last monthly recap. August was a good month. It was my birthday month. I became, I went, I went around the sun one more time and I'm excited to continue going around the sun, but I enjoyed the food that I had this this month and the people that I spent it with. I ate really good. I treated myself and, you know, 
I'm, I don't regret that. I had really good food and really good sweets and all those things. And yeah, I gained some weight. I fluctuate. That has been the journey that you guys have seen is that my weight has fluctuated. But at this point, I'm trying to go down. That is my goal. My goal weight is around 175, 180. And so we are going to get there together. So thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.